Hello, it's Friday and this is Darcy Darkness and this is Behind the Mash Reviews. I did say to you I was waiting on a few things coming and this is the occult box. Occult, not occult, it's just my accent makes it sound like I'm saying occult, I'm not as occult. So this box is supposed to be April and now we're in May and it's the 12th of May and it's just arrived. Now I ex wanted to explain before I signed up at the start of April for the April box because if you signed up between a different tip within that time frame you would get April's box but there was a delay bank holidays even though it was in May etc. I'm not going to moan and bitch about it but the nice woman at a call actually refunded my box straight away for me so I got 20, my £28 back because I didn't really have much hope that it was actually going to get here in May because I only got April's box right now so I won't really have a versus or a, com a comparison because I, this is my first box and I probably won't go for any more boxes which is a shame because it's a small business here in the UK and it's run by one woman and I really prefer to buy, uh, purchase subscription boxes from smaller companies and small businesses because you're helping somewhere because it's a livelihood basically. So we have the occult box. I'm going to bring me my trusty scissors and I'm happy the fact that it came very well packaged. It's £28 for the occult box. I'm not sure what that is. I can smell something um, perfumey which is never good for me. Um, not sure. Should I open this first? See what this is. Oh! So let's see what this says. Oh that's a natural other gift. So let me see. A cult box box <laughs> box uh, monthly subscription emporium alternative witchy gothic and spooky and as you can see there is a instagram and a facebook there and a website which is a cult box.co.uk and i got a reno in there with a really nice uh writing paper uh thank you for shopping with us and supporting our small biz and dreams you mean the world to us and we have you we hope, sorry, you love everything. Stay spooky. I think that's Misha and Kyle. P.S. We look forward to sending your future boxes. Thanks for subscribing. So I got a wee personalised note there and I feel kind of sh about that because, well, I have cancelled my box and my subscription. I really, oh, let's just get on with it. So, what is this? I like how everything is actually packaged because it seems to be packaged better than, again, most subscription boxes where it's like the, the company just doesn't care. Little envelope here that said Bless B. Let's see what's in it. Let's see. Oh, it's crystal. And again, you know, my son is absolutely obsessed with crystals and stones and everything like that. So we have an aura quartz and I know fine well that I've lost that already to him. But again, we have a deal where if there's crystals and stuff and things that he will get them. So they go to good use because he loves them. So we have this, first of all, which is cool. Mm -mm. And I will see what this is. I absolutely love it when it's black, as you know. Black paper, etc. And what is this? A lucky dip bag. Hmm. Yeah, I did actually think I ordered a lucky dip bag. I'm going to actually check my other phone, actually. Because I've, I've ordered so many um, subscription boxes in April to try them out that... Well, I can't remember what I ordered. Does that happen to you? Am I the only person? So, I am going into my email just to double check. So, let's type in a coach. 
If I can spell it right. So, occult box. Again, my spelling has been absolutely terrible. My phone hates me. Yeah, the 1st of April is when I ordered the box and I just received April's box today. But again, like the woman said, it was because of the two bank holidays, but again, that was in May, not in April. So, and I think something was missing um, out of stock or something that they had said. So, let's see, occult confirmation. Um, monthly subscription box, £28, which um, is the after tax and obviously shipping, is £28 in the UK. And it's second class. Second class is pants, man. Although first class with Royal Mail was just as pants, I suppose. So yeah, I ordered a Lucky Dip bag and a Lucky Dip Mini. So I think the Lucky Dip Mini would have been this. Like a mini bag. The Lucky, Lucky Dip mini bag is actually £5.50. And the Lucky Dip... Sorry, the Lucky Dip mini is £1.50. Sorry. And the Lucky Dip mystery bag is £5.50. So this will be the mystery bag here. And this is the mini thing at £1.50. So I wanted to again... Oh, sorry. Sheep that mount. Why don't I? So, let's see... I'm trying not to do AMSR, but it happens, unfortunately. So let's see what's in the Lucky Dip bag. Well, there is a spoon, Kitchen Witch, which is nice, which, again, there we go. And let's see what's in the Lucky Dip bag. So we have, oh. That's really cool, like a wee sign. Past, present, future, the, fu the fortune teller, crystal ball, gazing, and tarot cards. I really like that, actually. Maybe someone in my Discord, what do you think about this? With everyone who can do, who does aura and astral predictions. So we have that too. Um, we have a fortune teller's little notepad in there, which is pretty cool. And ghouls night in, keep out. I can I can imagine that's most likely going to be on my in my son's room actually. And resting in peace, do not disturb. Sorry about the no noise in the background. It's hot as balls here in Scotland, uh, and the windows and everything are open. So therefore, you're going to hear planes and things like that, and most likely just noise. So that was the little lucky bag for five pound fifty, and in that, not lucky, but lucky dip bag. So, mystery bag. Well, that was five pound fifty, and it was the kitchen witch spoon, the fortune teller sign, the do not disturb door thing that handle thingy mob. Again, what's the name for it? Heaven knows. <laughs> Brain fog. Uh, fortune teller's writing set. Ah, uh, so that's what, one, two, three, four things, again, for £5.50, and definitely worth it. The occult box items so far have been better than, what was the other one? The other company, other box, I can't even remember, a massive fly has just flew into my kitchen, and I'm glad I got a bug zapper. I'm scared. Between the frogs, this week, three frogs. I'll give you a brief update. It was raining here on Monday and I had the door open because it was hot as balls. Like, it was almost 30 degrees in my kitchen. So I kept the door open and I was just sitting watching TV with my son who was sick and he was on the couch watching something. And... and all I saw was this thing moving on the carpet. Now, this is not the first time that's happened. A frog's get in. Where I live, there's, like, a big pond close by, close by even, and <laughs> not one, not two, but three. This is the thing, though. My husband had to basically deal with me screaming like a lunatic 
as funny as that sounds and he managed to get the first one out now i had washing had sitting out and just about to go in the washing machine and i picked it up and one popped right out and i screamed so like i was being muddled <laughs> um yeah and that happened and then the third one apparently just jumped out from under my kitchen island obviously i must have a hospitable home if the frogs want to have shelter in my house but it literally <laughs> it caused me to scream ball and shout and it was not it was amusing for my husband but not amusing for me i was scared to sleep scared to move in case i got attacked by frogs so that has happened a few times it's happened in my greenhouse where they've jumped out at me and i've literally crapped it so that's what happens with the frogs in my house so let's get back to a coat and we have a little oh that will probably the smell little crushed dried flowers it's really old-fashioned kind of victorian as well to have that so we have the occult box cobwebs and cauldrons a spooky witch theme what's in the box lisa parker oil burner now i've already had an oil burner from witch casket i want to say witch casket witch casket witch box there was an oil burner anyway um witches brew fragrance oil and it's a fragrant delight to use in your new oil burner top notes of blood orange nice heart notes of strawberry base notes of soft woods hmm witch's curio jar handmade with real moss and amethyst crystals each jar is unique now we like that witch's brew cauldron pot by nemesis now a cobweb scrunchie which is handmade by Nazine Alice Designs which is nice to know that there's handmade things in this box. Witches Curse Incense Cones, Broomstick Pin and Crystal Jar and apparently there's an Instagram giveaway for your chance to be entered into the draw to win a free box of goodies worth £15. Simply snap a picture or reel of your order, post on Instagram making sure you tag at occult underscore box and hashtag occult box. And the winner will be chosen at random on the 31st of May. So, oh, I should do that. So, we have Nazine Alice Designs. And it's just telling you it's a one-woman business run by the lady herself. I'm a first-class honours graduate of costume performance design at Arts University in Bournemouth, located in the UK. Nazine Alice Designs began Halloween 2020 with the aim to establish myself as a brand and a freelancer. The work I do involves designing and making clothing and lifestyle items in an alternative aesthetic. My grand value is recycling, sustainability and gender fluidity. I believe in slow fashion and that anyone can wear or use items I create. To find out more, visit my social media platforms before. So you can see right here, Instagram and TikTok, Nazine underscore Alice underscore designs, let's be spooky. And that's her website right there my shopify.com so that's really nice promoting small businesses you like that so this is the scrunchie i like that would be really cool though having them um, spookier or more gothic accessories because i really really like that actually and it's i love <laughs> i love the packaging it comes with and again i'll be checking out the website as well i really really like that actually my son has long hair but i'm sure i'll be wearing this grungy and not him so there we go and this is the oil burner And that's the different ones. Watching our Rise of the Witches, Hocus Pocus and Absinthe. So this one is Rise of the Witches. Yep, so obviously oil in there and your wee candle in there. That's actually really, really cute. Really, really like it and the Celtic design around it. Kind of looks like Salem, actually. Love it. 
really, really happy with that oil burner. I really am. So there we go. That's from this box. I'm just set that down there. Put this box up here. So what else do we have? Witch's Curse. I think this is the cones. I'll just cut them open so I can smell them. Like, you know, I go on about it. I can't have incense. Allergies. Oh my goodness, that smells amazing. But again, I'm probably going to sneeze because of it. So it's like, do we like cones? You can see them in there. I'm not going to touch them because again, allergies, minutes on my skin. I'll touch my eye, I'll touch my nose and then that will be me. They smell really, really nice as well. Which is cursed and there's 12 of them. Release yourself from a witch's curse with this purifying aroma, clearing the air of all negativity and bringing you back to serenity now. I know for a fact everybody has some negativity in their life at some point. And this is the little occult uh, amethyst quartz and moss, I think it said. Dispel negative energies, enhancing intuition and balance of emotions. It's really, really pretty. So we got that too. I'm almost knocking over everything. So this will be the oil for the oil burner I'm assuming. No, it's not. This is the this is the moss. And you're like, what oh, that is so cute. Kinda reminds me of something that you'd see like in Alice in Wonderland. Like Mad Hatter. Like shrinking down. Or even Miss Perrigan or something. It's just really cool. So I think I'm gonna put that actually beside my PC really really like that or my child will steal it which usually happens so not the oil oh we cauldron witches brew love it i got another there was another there's a cast iron one in one of the other boxes so that's cool love it and this is the witches gotta stick together i forget i am so using that Totally. Again, that seems to be all recyclable packaging and thing, which is good. I'm going to open this. This is the Witch's Brew Fragrance Oil. I'm just going to open this, give it a wee smell. Oh, it's pleasant, not overpowering. I love the wee label on it too. So, that is everything. This was definitely better than this was definitely better than the last alternative box that I did. What one was it? Box of Goth, that's what it was. Box of Goth, I was impressed by um because it's a small company. But I've got to say the this is definitely better. And the fact that they're promoting smaller businesses within their box as well is a really good thing in my honest opinion, just helping out someone who's obviously starting out or someone who's trying to get their business off the ground. I'm really, really happy. Oh, and I've managed to cancel my occult box. This is going to be like which box all over again where I actually cancelled and had to reinstate it. So what did you think of the stuff, sorry, the items that are available for occult box? Did you find the occult box better than the box of golf would you buy from a cult box have you ever bought from a cult box have you bought one of the other boxes uh, if you like content like this please like this video and if you enjoy me reviewing products like this please consider subscribing to my channel and going over to instagram and adding me there giving me a follow and going on to twitch and following me there like i said before i will be on twitch from the 31st of may that's when i'm starting back and i'll be playing games like redfall and lost ark and maybe the sims depending on if i can be bothered to actually build my house Again, what games would you like to see me play? As you can as you can tell, I play a lot of similar games in the fantasy, also first person shooter RPG type 
games, let me know. Is there a game you would really like me to play? You can over to Twitch and you can ask me anything and just start a conversation while I'm playing and keep me sane before I go nuts at NPCs. That was a cult box. April's box actually, 2023. What did you think of it? Is it a hit or a miss? It is a hit for me. Big massive thumbs up. If I could give it more, I would. Because I'm really, really happy with everything in this box and everything that I got in the mystery bag and everything that I got in the little lucky bags and stuff. Which again, the prices vary from like a pound fifty to five pound fifty, etc. So let me know in the comments below what was your favourite thing about this box. Do what would you like to see? What kind of boxes would you like to see out there that are available? Is there anything that we that you think is missing from this sort of box. Sorry for the long pause. Hi, I'm Darcy Darkness and this is Behind the Mash Reviews and that was a cult box April 2023. Later.